Welcome to readtheticket.com. Today we're going to talk about RTT OBV. Now this is a standard price chart where we have price and volume. We have situations where we have very high volume and we have very low volume. On a situation where we have high volume and price has a high close and we have low volume, price can have a, a close in the middle, low or high. Well, an on-balance volume, or especially the RTT on-balance volume tool does, is that it gives more weighting to the price action when you have high volume and a higher close on the bar. For example, here we have the uh, range of the bar. We have a high close, we have a very low close, and we have a close in between the range. We can have a medium, high, and low volume. RTT OBV will take the, um, the, day, the day's action or the week's action and weight the trend based on volume and the close position. So we will, a bar that is, has a high close and good volume will get more weighting on the um, bullish side that one has a close in the middle of the bar and has um, medium or high or low volume. The close will dictate based on the weighting of the volume to the trend. So what this basically means is when you get lots of up bars with high closes and the vo with good volume, that basically means is that you know, obviously price is going to go higher. So if you have a consolidation with lots of higher closes and good volume, you can probably expect a breakout. But in a situation where you've got prices rising or at a, at a higher level and you've got the close in the middle of the bar, no matter the volume, well, there's not really buying going on, there's actually a bit of selling going on, so, so the trend does not push up. So it just what it does is it, is, it accentuates the buying and accentuates the selling, weighted by the volume. That's what our RTT OBV does. So we'll look at some examples. Here we have Ford. And here we have a, our RTT trend status, which is our, which is our pure price oscillator. There's no volume weighting in this. This is purely based on price action. I've got it on, on this chart to show the, um, the dips and the and the upswings and downswings. Okay, now we have a, I'm showing here the weekly RTT OBV. So this is um, daily data up the top here. But I've actually got the weekly OBV. What it does, it just takes out some of the volatility in the indicator. So like with the Wyckoff logic of mine, what we're looking for is in an uptrend, downswings on light volume. Or we're looking for downswings on heavy volume or downswings on volume which is like pretty much a one-to-one -one relationship so we're looking for imbalances or equal relationships of price and volume swings and for example between here and here we have a downswing as you can see um, ATT OBV swings down quite equally so it's pretty much a one-to-one -one relationship there here we have another downswing but as you can see ATT OPV hardly moves down at all. So that basically means a very light volume sell-off in, in this period of time. So that's pretty bullish. And as you can see, it was quickly brought back up. There's a downswing here, so really no penetration or drop to the downside of the RTT OBV. Another very light downswing. You know, pretty good, probably about a um, 5 or 10% move down there. RTT OBV really hardly ever goes down. On that movement there. We get a bit more of a volume downswing here, but not really that serious. So, really, all the downswings are pretty light. So, at the moment, we actually have um, a situation where it's, uh, the OBV on a weekly basis is stepping up. But as you can see here, price hasn't really broken up. So, you know, investors are getting a bit impatient there, so someone did sell. But I still suspect as time goes on, this will probably forward, probably to continue higher. There's really no selling going on. Down below here I have RTT OBV on a half month basis. That basically means when it gets to the 16th of the, of the month, we have the, the front month and the back month. It's not really based on two weeks. It's based on taking the calendar month and splitting in two. And as you can see, we've got a nice stepping pattern here as uh, price and volume are represented. And sometimes we get a, um, a long sideways action to show you that pretty much is a pretty much neutral response between price and volume. 
So obviously afford is a very good Wyckoff chart, good upswings, pretty timid downswings. The price can actually be quite vicious. Really, it's just busting stops, and it just all those people who have got their stops too close get taken out, and the buyers just buy it all back up again. So that was pretty easy. That was forward. So we'll look at um, spy. Once again, we've got our price action and our price oscillator. See the um, up and down swings. Here's our weekly OBV. I use the weekly OBV because it's uh, just a little bit less volatile than the daily one. But the daily ones are also available. And where are we? Here we have our downswing. You can see that uh, it's pretty much one to one, but here we have our first upswing. It's not bad as a timer as well. So obviously, if you're going to go long, you really want to see this OTB weekly o OBV. As I said OTV weekly OBV stepping up. Once again, stepping up here. Pretty much light volume on the upswing. If you look at this area here, the flat. Yeah, we actually have prices rising, but the uh, HT OBV is not going with it. So it's really like volume on that upswing. And similarly like volume on the downswing. I think there was a um, some sort of announcement by the Fed there. So it was a, that was a taping debate, which pretty much is a waste of time. And here we can see the um, stagnation or the neutral sort of period in that time. We were waiting for a decision. Came on, but as you see, price actually moved quite violently, swung up, swung down, but really it was going nowhere, the price and volume, so the trend really continued here. So look at gold, everyone wants to look at gold, so have a quick look at that. Right, Gremlin's a bit slow today. As you can see, well, these really no, there was a, this, this upswing here, which was short covering, it was real, um, but you can obviously see it was confirmed. We had it stepping up there, then we had a real light pullback here. Price actually fell quite a bit, but no one was selling. It was still um, short covering as it moved up. With another go, we're trying to hold the um, support. As you can see, it pretty much failed pretty quickly here. And that wasn't a good sign. And really, it's just continued on down. So we have to really wait till the price and volume shows that there is some buying going on. Let's get into support. See what happens. And here's the um, RTT OBV on a half month basis. One more one wants to look at well, was Apple. Shows a bit of a positive upswing. Okay, so oh, Apple um, has recently recovered from its downswing, and it was showed a good price and volume relationship as the stepping started here. We had a pullback. Oh, where is it? Pretty violent pullback there, up on the price action line. But on the uh, RTT OBV, it wasn't that bad. As you can see here, this consolidation here. There's no selling going on there. I think the mobile news is brought up here. And obviously, you can see the divergence there. There's no real selling on that downswing either. Um, the um, strength of the uh, Apple turnaround was also shown by RTT OBV half month. As you can see there, price came down there. We're getting a lot more green, so there's a lot more buying going on a, on a um, half month basis. You can see that. Still pretty solid. The only, the only concern I would have on Apple right now is that we've got some divergence. Prices spiked up rather aggressively. 
the volume behind it doesn't look that exciting to me. So I wouldn't be surprised if that was uh, buy the rumor, sell the facts. I just have to wait and see. It's gone a bit of a, we've got a bit of a blue pattern here, so it's really gone uh, too far high. Or so we say it's gone extremely high away from the mean. The mean might be a 50-day moving average. The RTT on balance volume tool is a very good tool for showing the true trend. So when you see price action moving, you want to see price rising with good volume, and when you see pullbacks or uh, in an uptrend, you do not want the pullbacks to be um, with aggressive volume. You want to see it um, with um, relatively light volume. And the RTT OBV is just another tool to highlight the Wyckoff logic. Thanks for watching.